Good day, everyone. Ali Safi here from Safi Financial Network. Today is May 21st, 2024. Here is another daily analysis. We are starting today with the light volume again. So market just to carved out a bit, S&P 500 going uptick. It's kind of like, uh, seems like it's kind of like getting into breakout for the next rally to the upside. As I said, this is kind of like a bullish consolidation, but today volume was pretty light, like 29 million traded for SPY, which is the S&P 500 ETF. And that was kind of like a very, very light volume. It's like a Christmas time a volume that no one is in town and uh, just the minor retail investors are uh, kind of like doing the trade. So that's why the candles are pretty light and market is just consolidating. No volume, no major breakout or price action happening. However, based on the technical analysis, we are just taking this as a kind of like a bullish consolidation. As I said, any pullback, potential pullback to this level could be a fantastic buying opportunity for the next rally to the upside. So if market gives us buying opportunity, we will take it. Otherwise, we keep ourselves invested as if I'm not going to sell. I just don't touch any of my stocks right now. I just uh, setting some positions due to some kind of like a rebalancing of my assets. But right now I'm just um, waiting for three months rally, basically June, July, and August. That's going to be kind of like a surprising for everyone. I believe that the rally is going to be epic, exponential to the upside. So we will give market benefit of doubt. So moving on to NASDAQ, which was kind of like at the same price action. Going higher, NASDAQ, we will have uh, kind of like a breakout confirmation. So on Monday, we just got this candle. And today, we just got a new closing all-time high as well for NASDAQ, which is kind of like interesting. So uh, we will give NASDAQ benefit of doubt as well. Uh, NVIDIA earning is going to be tomorrow. So that's going to be a massive mover for the market. Moving on to US 30, which is Dow. Dow is coming down. It's kind of like a shallow dip on Monday. Today is going up a bit, just uh, kind of like a half way through. Still a bullish consolidation. So Dow can form kind of like a bullish consolidation prior to the next rally. To the upside, I believe that energy, healthcare, and financials are getting back to bullish momentum again, but everything actually is going smooth. Like right now, they're just consolidation, consolidating, but after that consolidation period, they're going to go higher high as well. Moving on to gold, kind of like a pause today. Nothing spectacular after yesterday, new all-time high. Today, it's just a pullback, uh, as I said, uh, yesterday as well. So we may see some kind of like a potential pullback to this area, to 23 and uh, to 2360. But that's going to be kind of like the next buying opportunity. I don't see uh, they still uh, have a good bullish momentum. And, and I don't I don't see they're just uh, dropping the towel right, right now. Moving on to silver, which was kind of like the second doji bar today. Today, just I got positive. Um, confirming that still market is bullish biased. But look at the candles here. So this is kind of like a tweezer top, but I don't believe that tweezer top is going to be a strong signal. A potential pullback, again, could be a great buying opportunity. So uh, that tweezer top can give us like a minor buying opportunity if it goes to the corrective move, as I said, 29 to, to 30. That's going to be the level you should buy. Uh, moving on to crude. Uh, crude had like a negative day today. Again, getting back to the bear side after yesterday sell off as well so this is uh not forming the bottom actually we need to see how crude is forming tomorrow by end of this week because right now weekly candle is kind of like a very very uh strong bearish consolidation but right now it is very very oversold so if it's just uh getting back to uh 80 to 81 i should say this is kind of like a um, bottom and we should see some kind of like a minor uh, rally to 84 to 85 for a decisive moment. Okay, this is kind of like an interesting uh, pivot here, kind of like intermediate top. But if it doesn't, if it goes below this pivotal point, which is some kind of like a 76, then it can just easily going down all the way to 61 to 65. So we will see which way is coming first, but I believe that crude is in kind of like a shakeout right now. We should see some kind of like a minor 
rally down the road. Moving on to individual names, starting with Bitcoin. Bitcoin, a negative day after yesterday. Nice surge to the upside, 2.45% down. Still looking for this as a good buying opportunity. Ethereum, actually just a spike up today as well, confirming yesterday rally. A 2.43% to the upside, 35, 50, 51 right now trading. I believe that Ethereum is going to go back all the way up to 46, 48 for a potential new all-time high. Moving on to bond yield, bond yield just a close negative and nothing spectacular. Treasury is going back up today. It's just consolidating prior to this trend line. So consolidation means a good news for uh, bulls because if it consolidates here for a long time, we should see some kind of like a breakout. Finally, 95, 97 hiccup to final rally to 103, 105. So that's going to be my target for this year. Moving on to VIX uh, coming down again, 2% down today. It doesn't look good at all. Uh, Dixie, uh, one cents up, not a bad session. Hold up here. I believe this is kind of like a bearish consolidation prior to this trend line. If it doesn't go to higher high, I should say this is going to break out nicely all the way to 101 to 102. Moving on to magma indicator. As I said, a very light volume. This one is just consolidating here. Nothing spectacular, but more consolidation means more higher prices coming. Apple, nice surge to the upside, dollar 31 cents up. 192, remember Apple here? So right now we are at here in 192. AM, uh, Amazon, Amazon 39 cents up. Um, this is as 39 cents down, but a look at the candle here. Seems like the bottom is here intact for Amazon for a next rally to the upside, potential new all time high. Meta $4.21 cents down today. And Microsoft just hit nominal all time high, coming back down, new closing all time high. So um, that's interesting to see. Uh, this came kind of rejected from the top, but Microsoft hit 430, 431 new all-time high just today. Google, another new all-time high today as well. New closing all-time high, uh, 93 cents up, not a bad price action. Netflix going higher as well. So Netflix is targeting 657 to 691. And that's going to be interesting to see how it goes down the road after that. Tesla, 6% to the upside. Fantastic search for Tesla, just $11 up. Great move. And if Tesla goes above, as I said, 200 level, it goes back to kind of like a bullish momentum and it can go all the way up to 262.70. Uh, moving on to semiconductors, uh, SMH at 33 cents down today. Consolidation prior to this breakout. Socks, the same pattern here, 75 cents down today. Now the bad session, Taiwan Semiconductor, 12 cents up. Good bullish consolidation here. This is perfect scenario for a next rally to new all-time high. AMD, dollar sixty-seven cents down. Not a bad session. This is kind of like a minor pullback after this surge for a next pop to 133.184. Nvidia, that's going to be kind of like a decisive um, for Nvidia. Bullish consolidation. If you ask me, this is going to break out with a great earning tomorrow all the way up here. But in any case, if market doesn't like earning, market just want to give negative price on this, Nvidia can go all the way down to 660, 680. So this is kind of like a gambling of stuff. If you're trading with option, you can trade this. But if you're just a, um, like myself, just a staying on the side, just a, take a chill pill and relax and just stay here. There's nothing wrong if you stay here and watch the game. Um, Texas Instruments, and 19 cents down today, but still holding up pretty well. Bullish consolidation. If it consolidates here, I believe that more upside is coming for Texas. Moving on to LAM Research, a $21.90 up. Not a bad price action, just to spike up and then fell off. So LAM Research had a good rally today and yesterday. Moving on to financial. They came back to positive momentum, but I believe still correction is not finished. So when correction is finished with this name, potential minor pullback here, and then we can see the next rally to the upside. So right now we should just stay on the side or kind of like more pullback to 41. Then we can see going higher. KBE, 
going up as well, 19 cents up, KRE, 7 cents up, K JP Morgan, $3.94 up, a good price action, bullish Harami, after yesterday, fall off the cliff, I believe that that was a sharp sell-off, the JP Morgan actually is getting more volatile these days, but I believe that if it goes below this 187, it can go all the way down here for a perfect buying opportunity. But if it doesn't, it's just going to be a pullback and then going higher as well. Goldman Sachs, $7.47 up. Not a bad session at all. Regaining all loss yesterday. This is the, exactly the same with Bank of America. $0.83 cents up. Great price action. Wells Fargo, $0.76 cents up. Not a bad session at all. Moving on to gold miners. It's just a... A uh, pause today at 30, 31 cents down today. Not a bad session. GDX at 10 cents down today. Not a bad session. AEM 66 cents down. Newmont 40 cents down. Franco Nevada 69 cents down. Doji Bar here consolidation for the next rally. And Gold Barrick, it's just a pullback miner, 12 cents down. Nothing special. Moving on to XLE, which is Energy Spider coming down 46 cents down today. XOP dollar 14 cents down. Kind of like a shooting a star here. If it goes below this pivotal point, I believe, then 42, 44 is coming. OIH, oil and gas service, ETS, 72 cents down today. Exxon, 82 cents down on Chevron, dollar 17 cents down today. All right, I believe I covered everything um, today. NVIDIA is going to be earning uh, tomorrow. So it's going to be a very, very nice market mover. As I said, if you are a gambler, just gamble on it. But if you are not like me, stay on the side, watch the show, and enjoy it. Have a fantastic evening. See you on the chart. Bye-bye.